Tarzan, running at nine meters per second, grabs onto a vertically hanging vine and swings up. If air resistance is negligible, how high can he swing up to? This problem will not be easy to solve if we just want to use forces and kinematics. Because if we draw the force diagram of Tarzan during the swing, over here you have mg and the, the tension from the vine. When he swings to here, it will be mg going down and tension from the vine will go slanted. The force diagram and equation are different at every moment. The acceleration is not a constant, so this problem can be complicated. But luckily, we're just looking for the maximum height, so conservation of energy will be very convenient to use. The work energy theorem says, the work done by the non-conservative forces equals to the change in total mechanical energy, which is a change in kinetic energy plus the potential energy. To find the work done by non-conservative force, let's see, during the swing, there are two forces acting on Tarzan, mg and the tension. mg is a conservative force, so the only non-conservative force is the tension. How much work does tension do during the swing? Let's see, at any moment, tension is in the radial direction, and at any moment, the displacement is tangent to the circle. So the entire time, tension is perpendicular to the displacement, so tension does not do any work. The work done by the non-conservative forces in this case is zero. So if this is zero, that means that the total mechanical energy does not change. So however much mechanical energy Tarzan has at the beginning, there is the same amount at the end. And total mechanical energy is k plus u, which is uh, one half mv squared, and so far we just have this uh, gravitational potential energy, so u is uh, mgy, which means you have kinetic energy if there's a mass that is moving. You have p gravitational potential energy if there's a mass that is not on the ground, either above ground or below ground, we have potential energy. Above ground means positive potential energy, below ground means negative potential energy. But if the object is on the ground, there would not be any gravitational potential energy. And remember that ground is our reference point ground, not necessarily the real ground. At the beginning of the swing, Tarzan was running at 9 meters per second, so the moment he grabs onto the vine, he still has that 9 meters per second speed. So you have kinetic energy at the beginning. So it's one half m. Tarzan's mass is not given, but hopefully the mass m will cancel. The speed is 9, so 9 squared. And then over here, whether Tarzan has a gravitational potential energy would depend on where we choose our ground. Usually in a problem, it is convenient for us to choose the lowest point in the problem as the ground. So we can say right now here, that's the ground. Tarzan is on the ground, so there is no potential energy. At the end, that will be the maximum height. Is Tarzan moving at the maximum height? No, because this is a turning point. So the speed is zero, there is no kinetic energy at the end. But Tarzan is no longer on the ground. He is a, a height above ground. In fact, we're looking for this height. So it has the mgy. So you have 1 half m times 9 squared equals to m times g times y. And the mass, yes, it cancels. And then we'll be able to find the height to be 4.05 meters. So that's the answer.